Developing tonight, AT&T and Verizon now say they are delaying the rollout of their 5G service near some airports amid concerns the signals could interfere with flights. Executives of major airlines all signed a letter warning the 5G cell phone towers could cause them to ground flights, resulting in major travel delays. News 6's Eric Von Anken is at Orlando International Airport with how it could affect us here in Central Florida. The Orlando Airport tells me it understands the need to pause the rollout of 5G around the airport's runways to verify what exactly 5G will do to air travel. But already tonight, the new signal is impacting air travel here and at other airports. Emirates now says it will not fly in, worried about what that new signal might do to their planes. The disruption to air travel could have been devastating, the president said this afternoon, if Verizon and AT&T had not backed down and turned on their 5G signal everywhere tomorrow, including around airports. The trade group Airlines for America claims, for comparison, this dilemma in 2019 would have affected cargo to 32 million people, delayed 345,000 passengers, and disrupted 5,400 cargo flights, all because the FAA insists it will need to to impose restrictions on flight operations using certain types of altimeters near 5G signals. Why is that? Because almost all of the major U.S. airlines worry the 5G frequency could throw off those altimeters that pilots rely on for landing. Even though, as AT&T and Verizon point out in statements to News 6 today, 40 other countries have safely rolled out 5G without interfering with flying. The FAA has an explanation for that and put together this comparison chart with France. Look left to right. First, in France, the 5G buffer zone around the airport is bigger, giving pilots 96 seconds of unaffected instrument time before they touch down instead of just 20 seconds. In the middle, the FAA compares 5G signal strength, saying, it's two and a half times more powerful here in the U.S. And on the right, the FAA shows that 5G antennas are tilted downward in France to cause less interference. So how long does the FAA have now to verify that all of those altimeters can handle the new 5G signal before it goes live here? According to the airport, they have until July. At OIA, Eric Von Aken getting results. News 6.